be throwing snowballs. Fans shouldn't be throwing snowballs. Self defense. Yeah, it just can't happen. What, you gotta what, let the security. And this is, is on that, the heels of you the tell Jets me, coach is that guy tripping. Is that guy suing a wuss? You know, players have to deal with so much goading <laughs> from fans in the stands. The trick is not to retaliate. He should have taken the high road. He should never have thrown mm -hmm. anything back because he's left himself wide open for I'm this lawsuit. He stuff. didn't. He had to pay ten thousand dollar fine. But I'm kind of on his side on the lawsuit. Am I wrong? I, his anger got the best of him. He uh. should have. And sometimes it should. Okay, <laughs> moving on. Uh, now there has been criticism about news anchors, female news anchors in particular. Uh, first, there was a piece in the New Republic called The Sexism of Morning Joe. And then another columnist who's interesting, Joanne Bamberger, picked up on it and talked about the Morning Joe co-host Mika Brzezinski and also uh, Kathleen Parker, who co-hosts a show over on CNN with Elliot Spitzer. And the, the theory is that Joe Scarborough speaks five times more than Brzezinski and that this somehow is a sexism on his part. And then the other, the follow up is that actually these women are just being too subservient and that they've been sort of taught to be that way by society. Now, I have my own thoughts on this, which I'll share with you in a minute, but I'll start with you. W what do you make of the, the accusations? You know, I don't think sexism is entirely to blame in this. I think so many people in television are strong, charismatic personalities. You have to fight to make yourself heard. I think we're seeing a lot of really great female anchors, yourself included. <laughs> And, well, I opened the door right out right well, to that. She walked right in. That, that, that's, you know, I want to I want to see more of that. I'd like to see us all making this story a thing yeah. of the past. It's our responsibility to do that. I loved this article. Why? It highlights two networks that are supposedly leaning, what are they, leaning back, leaning, leaning, yeah, leaning forward, leaning whatever. Sometimes. Fox News, the channel that's supposed to be, you know, leaning right, has the most women on. I debate Bob Beckel every Monday. Let's ring him up. He can say he can't even get a word in edgewise. Yeah, I was going to say, you're such a, you are a shrinking violet. Everybody so, knows that. You know, I, you. Just, I think it's very ironic that these left-leaning channels have these subservient women and are accused of sexism. But really, is it a Fox News alert that Elliot Spitzer, the man that cheated on his wife, with hookers doesn't respect women? Are they subservient or are they just being polite? And in Mika's case, is she just being deferential to the guy whose name is on the show? I don't think they're subservient. I think that when it's a woman co-anchor, men can be bullies a little bit. And But whose responsibility, if you are, all right, here's, th this is where I come in. If you are up against the man who some people might accuse of being a bully, don't you as a woman have an obligation to assert yourself? Yeah. And yes. I, listen. I love Bill O'Reilly. Bill and I are good friends. But anybody who watches me go on his show is used to seeing scenes like this. It's be challenged. inappropriate in that setting to attack a religion. Inappropriate is not something That's what we said. want our government deciding. That's what the settlement said. It doesn't it matter. It has to be appropriate. It doesn't matter. Do you really want Governor yes. Christine Gregoire deciding what's appropriate yes, and do. what's not? You She's only want elected. that because you're on the side no. of the Christians in no. this case. No, there has to be standards in any settlement. No, the government, to court. the government doesn't decide what's appropriate speech. That is not the way this okay. country works. Then That's the let, bedrock of the First Amendment. Let... Now, I'm just saying... When confronted with somebody who would speak over you and get in your face, and I love Bill, and that's his style, and God bless him for it, maybe respond in kind. But not everybody is that way. I'm a loud mouth. It's the Irish in me. I can't help it. Sorry. Uh, not everybody is that way. So is it a female problem, or is it a sexism on the male of the, the part of the male anchor problem? Well, sometimes I think women can overexert.